What's going on guys, Joe Cruz here and today I'm going to show you why it's important to maintain and clean your GPUs. All right, so what we have here today is a GTX 1080 Founders Edition and I got this for $200 and I'd say that's a pretty good deal but this thing is nasty looking and there is no way I am putting it in one of my builds. So I'm taking this opportunity to show you guys how easy it is to clean and maintain your GPU. I will also have a before and after benchmarks to show you guys the difference. I have tested this GPU so we have the before performance but before I disassembled this, I just want to remind everybody that most manufacturers will actually void your warranty if you tear down your GPU. Although some manufacturers will let you change your thermal paste or your cooling solution to an aftermarket one such as a water block. So if you guys aren't sure, make sure you contact your GPU's manufacturer and verify it with them. All right, so let's take this apart and clean it. All right, so. For anybody that's not comfortable in taking apart their GPU, there's a lot of YouTube videos you can pull up and search for your specific card. I found that the Founders Edition is a little bit harder to take apart compared to an AIB GPU. Now to clean the GPU die, you can use a 91% rubbing alcohol or you can use the same one that I use, which is a contact cleaner. I would get the alcohol if you can because it's cheaper. I only have this contact cleaner because of all the shortage of alcohol, but it works the same. And then this is the heat sink. Oh, this is nasty. Look at that. All right, so since this fan is really nasty, I am taking this outside. I don't want all of this dust to fly around this room. I'm gonna use my air uh, to pretty much clean this. Hopefully I can clean it pretty good. I'm gonna bring everything with me just so I can clean it properly. I've actually cleaned this. Uh, yeah, that's a big difference. I've cleaned the rest of this as well. So since a lot of our thermal pads are actually bad, I'm gonna have to replace them. Um, I'm using my kitchen scissors because I can't find any scissors at all, but um, it should work. And I got this ones, the thermal pads from eBay. Um, they're pretty cheap, it just takes a while to get here. Uh, just make sure you get the same thickness. So that's what I'm gonna use. So now that we've added all the thermal pads, we just have to put some thermal paste before we put that back in.
right, so for this one, the way I actually clean this is I use a um, WD-40. Um, it'll make it look like it's new. I learned this from uh, Techia City and uh, it actually works pretty good. So this one actually has a thermal pads over there too. I'm actually gonna replace that as well. This one is a lot thinner, so we're gonna have to use something different. So now that we put it back together, it looks a lot better now and I'm sure the performance will be a lot better as well. Alright, let's go ahead and test this now and uh, I'll show you guys the before and after right after this. Alright guys, so here are the benchmarks side by side. So what I did here was I actually put the fan at 100% that way they're both controlled. Also I made sure that my room temperature was the same the whole time. As you can see, the freshly cleaned GPU performed about 10 to 12 Celsius cooler. It also was able to maintain a higher clock speed of 1810 MHz compared to 1607 MHz. And as for our average FPS, it's 227 FPS versus 214 FPS. That's about 6% difference. 6% might not sound much, but it didn't really cost me a lot, maybe less than $10 max to get that 6% improvement. So if you have a GPU that you have not cleaned and you've had it for a while, or if you just bought a used GPU, make sure that you clean it first. Replace the thermal paste and the thermal pads. It won't cost you much and you may be able to gain some performance and better thermals. And right now is the time to read some of your comments from my last video. This one is from Enba Aparo. Not sure how to pronounce that. I think it's Russian. Anyway, he said, that's neat little lamp you have behind you. Is there a story behind that? Actually, I bought that because I see a lot of YouTubers with some type of light in the back and I thought my background was too plain. Awesome build and good job on giving your buyer a break. Stay safe, bro. So I gave him a break because I think he's a nice kid and sometimes when you're kind to people, they tend to be kind to others too. So at least that's what I'm hoping. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you find this helpful and entertaining in any way. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please get subbed. I have a lot more PC content lined up and the next video will actually be the announcement on how I will do the giveaway. If you guys don't know about the giveaway, I will be giving away a brand new XFX RX 580 to one lucky subscriber. So stay tuned, get subbed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.